travel with me. Hey fellow humans, Mina here. Um, please ignore my shitty hair. It's hot. So sweat, yeah, you know, TMI, in case you wanted to know that. Um, it's also gonna be the first time you actually see me not wearing a tank top because uh, I am walking home from work and I would have filmed this on the weekend where I can wear my tank top because it's freaking hot. Murder heat season is now officially here. Um, but uh, I, it's gonna rain <laughs> and I wanted to do an outdoor video again because that was fun the last time. So might as well look at the background. And uh, that was actually a friend of mine. <laughs> Uh, probably wonder what the hell I'm doing. If anyone asks, I'm doing a video chat. Also, again, uh, the phone is flipped to the opposite side that I'm not used to, so I keep thinking the camera's here, but it's actually like there, so apologies again if I'm not looking at the screen. But yeah, um, I am here to tell you about a special project that I have. Uh, but before I get into that, I want to say that I'm a dumbass <laughs> and the last video that I posted, my more TBR LGBT books, uh, I was like, this is the last video of Pride Month, not realizing that there's, you know, still another week of Pride, but you know, semantics, I guess, whatever. Uh, last official Pride video, even though this one's going to contain some Pride stuff, I guess, I don't know, you'll see in a second. So anyway... If you've been following me on my other socials, especially Twitter for this one, but like Instagram too, I guess Facebook, but some students from school next door, former students are yelling at me. <laughs> um, but anyway, if you've been following me on there, especially Twitter for, again, this one, uh, y'all know I've been working on this special project. And this project, I'm not gonna say too much about it just yet because it's a special project. Hi! Um, but it is going to be released next year. I can say that. And I did mention, I will say, I will say this part because I did mention that I wrote some short stories in regards to self, three of them so far, and that is what we're here to talk about today. They're going to go with my special project, um, I'm not going to say what they're for just yet, but I will talk about the short stories because I'm going to be looking for beta readers for them. and. Uh, you can choose to be a beta reader for one of the stories, or just two, or all three. I might write more in the future, but so far there's three. Anyway, first off, I hate this thing. I will never not hate this thing. It's the only one I ever have to work. It's the only one of these stupid things in town. And it's hot, and I hate it. <laughs> Just like a overpass thing. It's cool, but I know I, I've just I've always hated this thing. It's the only one of these things in town, and I have to cross this damn thing to work every day because of the way the roads are. Might as well say a little hi to roads. I'm not too sure if I'm feeling it. Uh, there's a big giant ass sign there, so you can't see the other side. Anyway. Stairs. <laughs> it's hot and I'm out of shape, so deal with it. My short story, number one, call, is called Aftershock. And uh, by the way, these short stories, you don't actually have to have read South to read them and beta read for them. But they will enhance your experience. But they are standalone. Um, so the first one is called Aftershock. And if you know, right in chapter one, which I've, you know, 
read to the YouTube public. So like, <laughs> it's not a spoiler. You can read it. You can read the first two chapters for free online on my website. Anyway, um, this short story is from the point of view of six-year-old Minami. Uh, and the, uh, it goes into a deep dive of the backstory of the whole survival, you know, earthquake thing. So if you're willing to read this short story, it has to, there trigger warnings. There is death, there is blood, um, and natural disasters. So if you feel free to skip this one, if you're not in the red head, right head space, if you don't want to beta read for this one, or not at all. Um, but yeah, this one, it's, it's, a, it's a deep dive backstory into what happened to Minami when she was six. And short story number two is the first short story, uh, first thing I've ever written actually, that is in first person perspective. I thought I'd try something different for this one. And it is how Nick, this, well, it's called uh, When I Found You. Um, it's actually, a, the title is a reference to a Britney Spears song that I really like. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's how Nikki and Parker first met, you know, bef back way back in the day when they're still in like high school and uh, Parker wasn't famous. And so it, it's a little backstory from Nikki's point of view. And I really like that one. It's, it's cute. Um, I don't think there's any trigger warnings in there. Full LGBT story. Nikki's out and proud and she's, I guess, looking for a girlfriend. And it's just a cute little story. I really like that one. And then we have the last short story. I also wrote in first person perspective. But uh, this one's actually funny because it's a fans, a fan service story of my own novel that I wrote because uh, my friend who read the book, she was like, if you don't write this, we're not gonna be friends anymore. And I was like, oh no, we can't have that. So I wrote it for her, <laughs> but it's not canon. But you know, maybe it could be someday, we don't know, but it's not canon. Um, this one uh, does take place after Self has finished, so um, there's trigger warnings of mentions of suicide, there's trigger warnings of depression, and uh, yeah, uh, it, it's a story about Mark and Derek falling in love, and you'll see how this works if you read the story. Um, again, uh, this story is not canon, and it is standalone. It's written in a way that you don't have to have read South to know what's going on. But if you've read South, you'd be like, oh, okay. And then you might be able to see how this would work. It's called Breath of Fresh Air. And so, yeah, um, I'm looking for beta readers. That is the whole point of the story. <laughs> and two of them are LGBT. One of them, the aftershock story is not because like as a six year old, she's not even thinking about relationships at that point. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, um, so you don't have to have read South to read them if these pique your interest. Um, you don't have to buy South if these pique your interest to apply. But, you know, I would greatly appreciate it if you did. If you want to know more about what self is about, check out the little YouTube card thingy. Uh, or, you know, look in the description for buy links and stuff. You can do that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I will link down below a form for you to fill out uh, if you want a beta read or if you know anyone who would like to, you know, put in this video. And if not, I hope you enjoyed this little walk around my town in Korea. Um, yeah, so anyway, happy pride, y'all. If you, so before, 
I've just been informed through my headphones that my exercise ring has been closed, so yay. <laughs> um, this church, by the way, is across the street from me. And it plays shitty ass music every Wednesday and Sunday. And it's Wednesday right now as I'm filming this. And so I'm gonna have to listen to shitty ass music tonight. And they block my shortcut because they're like, oh no, the foreigner with the tattoos, we ain't having this. They, they built the freaking door. They built the door to block me from the... Anyway, point is, I made them in a, a polka stop. You're welcome, people of Korea. And now I put up with them. <laughs> anyway, I'm done rambling for now. Um, I'm getting extra hot by the minute. As you can probably tell by this lovely looking get up. Um, my debut novel, the LGBT plus novel, Great Reefer Pride or any month of the year, is available now. You can buy that bad boy. Links are in the description down below. Uh, enjoy it. I hope you leave a review if you like it. A car coming. And uh, if you don't, leave a review anyway. You know, helps an author out. I mean, I hope you enjoy it. I th I'm pretty sure you will, but you know. It's not for everyone, not every book's for everyone. Anyway, that's all I gotta say for now. If you wanna keep hearing more about self, be sure to follow me on all your favorite socials. Links below. Stay safe, stay hydrated, and take care. Bye. <laughs> She's flossing her teeth. She's flossing her teeth. She's a lazy player though. Oh my god, sorry. Look at her headband. Oh, yeah, <laughs>